everybody again and welcome to another episode of Progs 691. I am your host Mike. I got a decent show planned for you. Please like and subscribe to the program coming in the hottest on the gram. That is Progs Review underscore 691. Have we got a show for you. Today we have the BC300 Bone Collector uh, Archery Target. We're going to put it to the test because on this show we test, test, test. We're always testing. This product comes at an economical price of $29.95. Some can give you free shipping, some can charge you extra. Uh, we're going to put this, check this out and see you in two and two, peace. Okay, guys, so we're about 20 feet back. Yeah, 20 feet back. This is a uh, 100 grain field tipped arrow that's being fired from a uh, 45 pound draw weight recurve bow. I'm using is basically a uh, snap shooting with at least one feather out from uh, your from which hand of the bow that you're shooting. Your arrow might uh, be different but uh, the premise is basically just to uh, just to have your arrow be drawn to its uh, anchor point and then it just to hold maybe for a moment when you're using a recurve bow, but it's usually better just to uh, have your uh, point designated on the target, draw back to your anchor point, and then just let go of it. Okay. That way it, mo it minimizes uh, shape, sway, and other factors that might affect the arrow as it travels to the target. What do you think of this target so far? Well, it looks like it's holding up pretty well. I can see the uh, green center of the bowl is pretty good. And I'm just trying to get a good hold on where I want it. Of course, uh, your, your variable uh, Variable veins on your arrows, depending on what you're using, might fly different than mine. Mine are actually feathered. This is feathered is what you want to have for a recurve bow. It allows you to have a much smoother release and doesn't damage your uh, arrow shaft or your feathers. And I've got different ones. I'm shooting with, and this is uh, shooting off the shelf with a recurve bow. You can do it this way. Preferably, it's usually better to have an arrow rest on your recurve bow so that you can hold the arrow where you want it. It's not going to come off your bow. Your bow will last a lot longer, and uh, it's it's just easier to shoot sometimes. This is a, uh, a custom recurve bow that doesn't have any any bobs or widgets on it, no stabilizers, no uh, accessory mounts, just a uh, just a shelf, and uh, it's all basically one piece laminate for its limbs and its riser. Alright, we're going to shoot again. The last shot was a little to, a little low, so I'm going to see if I can compensate. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's look at the uh, target here, uh, what we did with our first shots. It looks like I had one low winger here down on the bottom, but 
Most of my arrows uh, were a little bit high, but they uh, hit uh, this area roughly at about a uh, four inch spread. This is The penetration of the first arrow that I brought out was about, oh, one, two inches deep, okay. I think, from a 45-pound uh, bow. So it looks to be that the target's uh, still pretty holding up pretty good. Um, when you're taking out these arrows, it's always good to uh, always... Most of these arrows have inserts that have a... Uh, screw on ability you usually want to turn the arrow as you're pulling it out so that you don't lose this field tip or whatever tip you're using what did you dislike about the bc 300 huh? what did you dislike about the bc 300 target it's, uh, it's a little small but if you're looking to take one with you like into the back country like we are right now yeah it's it's convenient to carry it's, yeah i just didn't like the handle i wish they would have had it in backpack uh, form i wish they uh, would have given you a second handle yeah to put rubber on you had to put it you had to carry it on your back or pick it up and yeah and also uh i mean i'd say this is this weighs about oh, 45 50 pounds roughly yeah so, it's not bad for a target. No. Yeah, it'll hold up. You just don't want to keep it. You want to keep it stored, not outside, because between the snow, sun, and rain and salt, it'll eat it up and yeah, it'll tear it up. You'll definitely want to take care of it if you're uh, looking to uh, keep it around a while yeah. for uh, practice. Yeah, for twenty nine ninety five, you get what you pay for. Yeah. So I'm sure by next year it'll be up higher. So. so that's all we have today. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now!